Welcome to the Primo Analytics tutorial on copying an analysis to My Dashboard. If you are just starting out with Primo Analytics, chances are you have not customized your dashboard yet. In this tutorial, we will copy one of the reports from the out of the box dashboards and then we'll paste it into your personal dashboard. Then we'll add a label to that report. For today's tutorial, we will be copying the facet report from the example dashboard. Let's take a look at that report now by going to Dashboards, Example Dashboard, then clicking on the facets page. Okay, so now we have a graph on the left and a table on the right. We also have prompts. The first is at the top left, and it gives me the option to choose sessions or facets. The other prompt is above the table, and that one allows me to select count or percentage. Let's say I would like to copy all of these components onto my dashboard. Okay, we're ready to begin. First, I would go to my dashboard by going to Dashboards, my dashboard. Notice that I have one default page and in the center of the screen I have a message that says this page has no content. I'm going to click Edit. While I'm in edit mode, the main part of the screen becomes an area where I can drop content from the dashboard objects or catalog. Since I'm copying an existing report, I just need to find it in the catalog area. To do so, first I would navigate to the Example Dashboard by clicking on Shared Folders, Primo, Dashboards, Example Dashboard, Facets. Now I'm going to click on Facets and hold the mouse button down while I drag Facets into the content area. When I release the mouse, I get a pop-up asking me if I would like to replace the contents of the current page. I'm going to click Yes, and now I have a series of boxes on the screen. The outer box is labeled Column 1. When I put my cursor over that box, you can see it turns yellow. And over on the right, I have two icons, one for Properties and one to Delete. Columns allow me to position reports and graphs on the dashboard page. Since I want my report and graph to appear side by side, I'm going to keep just one column. The next box is Section 1. Sections allow me to group reports, graphs, and prompts on the dashboard page. And then we have two boxes that make up the report itself. The Column Selector Facets object represents the prompt that allows us to select whether we were showing facets or sessions. The Facet Usage example compound view represents the graph and the table. Let's preview this report by going to Preview. This opens a pop-up window with a dashboard page. Now let's say I want to add some explanatory text to this report. I'd close the pop-up window, then I would go over to my Dashboard Objects, click and hold the text box, then drag it into the main part of the screen. Notice that I can place this text box wherever I want to by moving it to different areas of the page. The blue bar will show me where the text will be placed. Since I want my text to appear above my reports within the section, I'm going to make sure my blue bar is within Section 1, above Column Selector Facets. OK. Now I am releasing my mouse button and the text box is dropped. To edit this text, I would mouse over the text box. The box itself turns yellow, and I can click on the Properties icon over here on the right. Just clicking on the Properties icon opens up a window where I can define the text properties. I'm going to enter some text in, and I can even make part of it bold. 
Let's preview to make sure it's going to appear the way we'd like. Looks good. And OK, at this point, I'm going to save this page in the dashboard. And now I'm going to run the page. Everything looks good, except for one thing. Notice that my page label is still page 1. I'd like to make that facets. So to do so, I would go over to the Page Options, click, then Edit Dashboard. Now I am back in the Edit Dashboard screen. I'm going to go up to Tools, then Dashboard Properties. Here I can change the labels and the behavior of each page in the dashboard. For now, I just want to change the label, so I would highlight Page 1, then click on the Rename icon. Type in my label, click OK, click OK again, then save the dashboard. Now when I click Run, I have the Facets report on the Facets page in my dashboard. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To see how to edit an analysis, please continue on to the next tutorial, Editing and Analysis on My Dashboard.